So we are here with Jake Smollett of Smollett Eats on the Food Network. How are you today? Hello, how are you doing? I'm Thank great. you for having me. Thank you for being here. So I want to jump right in and talk about your your family in relation to, um, it seems like everyone in your family is a thespian. Mm -hmm. You, your brother, uh, Jesse, your sister, Journey, your parents. Yeah. Uh, I even heard that you were a diaper model. So. <laughs> <laughs> Quite some time ago, is that true? Yeah, six months, came right out the womb, oh, wow. ready to work. <laughs> <laughs> right out the womb. So yeah. how exactly did you segue into culinary arts or cooking specifically becoming your passion? Um, well, growing up, just having such a big family, family of eight, um, wow. my parents and six, six siblings, um, just a necessity having to cook. So it started out six years old, getting in the kitchen, helping out my mom, had so many of us. She was also our manager, our acting coach, um, growing up acting as well. So things were so busy, busy, busy. So she didn't always have the time to, you know, cook. So she needed us to help out kind of in the kitchen. So that love kind of started with her showing us how to cook and take up some of the slack. Cause she grew up in New Orleans. Okay. So she throw down in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I can um, only imagine. <laughs> yeah. And then that segued into at 15, starting a baking company. Uh, the healthy vegan pie company that was in health food stores around Los Angeles uh -huh. and me and my sisters did that and then I started producing my own cooking show on the metro system here in LA me and Jazz my sister Jazz she was producing it I was writing the scripts and hosting it and they were just three minute segments and then we were airing that on LA Metro and then Jesse and I started doing this brothers theme cooking show and then we pitched it to Food Network and and they picked it up. They bought six episodes, yeah, wow. direct to series. That is great. Congratulations to you on that. Thank so you. So tell me more about Smollett Eats and, you know, kind of the premise and how it, you know, uh, showcases you and your family doing what you love to do. Yeah, so we just finished the first season um, aired on Food Network. And it was, it was a lot of fun. We shot it here in L.A. Mm -hmm. And it was all six of us, you know, together again, cooking up. Um, it's just a take on how we did things growing up, yeah. you know, an organic take of us being in the kitchen, one person's chopping, one person's cooking the main course, you know, so it was, it was a great time. Now you were recently on the Rachel Ray show and she's certainly a staple chef yeah. in the cooking world. So tell me about that experience. Yeah, that, that has been another dream of mine to cook with Rachel Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, her being a home chef, me being a home chef, I definitely look up to her and, you know, I've always watched her shows on Food Network. So that happening was beyond the moon for me. Um, and she's a great person, so fun, so fun to work with. So I'm doing six episodes this season with her. Wow, yeah. okay, I didn't know that. So you yeah. guys are taking it pretty far then. Yeah. Wonderful, so what kind of what kinds of things are you cooking on the show or what can we expect from that collaboration? So I've done two episodes already. I made a uh, taco lasagna, uh -huh. which is like a Mexican pan of like layered tortillas and chicken and oh. kind of a black bean chili kind of thing. And then I did gumbo pasta on an episode that aired recently. So yeah, just Sounds infusing good. that Louisiana cuisine with like my Cali fresh style, you know. Okay. We both have Louisiana background, so we both have a love for spice and all of that. That is cool. I was going to ask you about that. Uh, so on your website, I mean, the photos, everything looks completely salivating. I mean, is it all Thank an you. illusion or how does it actually <laughs> taste? And you know, where do you get your inspiration when cooking? I get my inspiration from my siblings a lot, to be honest. We, you know, Jesse called me the other day. He's like, I have friends coming into town. He's shooting Empire in Chicago. He's like, what should I make? I was like, make smothered chicken. Like, it's just a one pot, <laughs> great dish. Yeah. Um, so we, we, you know, coordinate a lot of our meals together. So we bounce ideas off of each other and just social media. I think if you're on Instagram, you just flip it and you get inspiration from Oh, I want to make this today. I want to try my own take on this, or I want to do this, or or eating out at a restaurant. These are just how I get inspiration. So, JakeSmollett.com is my blog that I have been running for like a year and a half now, and just uploading pictures and recipes for people to enjoy. And I take my own food photography, so every picture on my blog that you see is my oh, photograph. Wow. So, um, 
you said your inspiration comes from your family, uh, some hints of New Orleans, some Cali Fresh. Is there anywhere that you've ever visited that you um, try to do a replica of that uh, recipe or uh, another country that you, maybe you're inspired by? Yeah, Italy. Um, so it's been a process for me to you know, every time I travel, I try to say I'm going to take a cooking class every new place I am. I was in Jamaica, I did a cooking class. You know, uh, Italy, I did, I learned how to make real Italian pasta, raviolis, fettuccine, linguine, and just bringing that back to the States and for friends and family, like cooking up a pot of homemade pasta is like priceless and learning how they make their marinara sauce and how simple they cook and learning Italian food in Naples versus like, you know, the Amalfi Coast. So it's mm -hmm. different. And just those influences have really elevated my cooking. You know, being a home chef, that's how I get my training. I have no formal training. So just learning directly from people that are the experts. And so define that for me. What classifies being a home chef? Just elevated home cooked meals. I think, you know, we all, try to chef up in the kitchen. Yeah, and, <laughs> try to whip it up. Yeah, we whip it up. And, and I think we all think of ourselves as a chef inside, if, if you cook at home. And if if you feel like a chef, then you're a home chef. That's really, that's really what it is. And okay. I, I call myself that because I'm not a chef, I'm not trained, but I am a home, I'm not a home cook, you know. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, for those people who want to cook fresh, they want to use fresh ingredients, but they don't have like a bunch of money to go out and buy these ingredients. What what kind of tips would you suggest for them to kind of be able to do what you do or replicate your recipes at home? Visit jakesmylet.com <laughs> because I will say that I had a show on the bus, Take Ten, that was under ten dollar meals. So I really carry that into my everyday life. Like, I don't spend hundreds of dollars on my recipes. You know, it's, I have a lot of chicken dishes and thighs are a good way to, you know, make a meal for your family that's cost effective. And I think that people always need fresh new recipes. So it's, it's, it's an honor for me to be able to put out my recipes directly to the public and get that response of, oh, I tested this recipe, I love it, I made it for my husband, I made it for my children, I made it for my wife, you know. It's really nice to get that response because food is love and people share food with each other and you got to eat. Yes, you do have and to eat. <laughs> you need to enjoy eating, so. That's certainly the case. So, I mean, what's next for you in terms of any of other upcoming projects that you're going to be working on? Um, are you still in acting or uh, how's that working for you? I always love acting. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I mean, that was my first love, acting. And uh, so definitely more acting in the future. Right now I'm focusing on my cooking. Okay. And I'll revisit that for Wonderful. sure. So how can we find you? You said uh, jakesmollett.com yes. is your blog. Uh -huh. And how else can we stay in touch with you? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at jakesmollett, everything. Well, thank you for thank being you so here. Much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. It's fun. Bye, guys. <laughs>